If you ask me, I think the foundation of human culture is constructed of broken rocks. Indeed, the one sound that most typifies human culture, perhaps even more so than speech, or the sound made by the lighting of matches, is the sound of two rocks clashing. Stone tool manufacture began over two and a half million years ago among our early ancestors in East Africa. Whereas our fires and speech may denote a certain uniqueness to our humankind, it's the sound of stone tool manufacture that serves as an auditory background to the evolution of our species and to the passage of Stone Age time. Structurally, the sound of breaking rocks has permeated the bedrock of our cultural foundation, appearing and reappearing in myth and legend. Take the most recent of the ancient gods. They were almost all rock breakers, especially those associated with war and thunder. Closer to home, human beings have inhabited the northern San Francisco Bay Area for at least 12,000 years, and probably twice that long or more. Population levels varied during this time, as the carrying capacity of the land changed with evolving cultural subsistence patterns. 12,000 years ago, there may have been no more than 40 people in the North Bay at any one time. People most likely practiced a nomadic lifestyle 12,000 years ago at the close of the Pleistocene. However, by about 8,000 years ago, human groups began to settle down in more fixed territories, creating seasonal villages within their territories. Sometime between 8,000 and 4,000 years ago, permanent sedentary villages were established. At around four to 5,000 years ago, the acorn technology developed and human populations began to increase exponentially as a result of the increased carrying capacity allowed by an acorn diet. By 400 years ago, the population of the North Bay may have exceeded 40,000 people. When you do the math, you quickly realize that there were a lot of people living in the North Bay throughout prehistory. And there were undoubtedly tons of rocks being broken for various purposes. To illustrate this fact, I'll attempt to create a numerical expression for culturally broken rocks created in the North Bay. To do so, let me state a few of my basic assumptions. The average life expectancy during the 12,000 years of prehistory in the North Bay was 35 years. The human population averaged 40 individuals between 12,000 and 8,000 years ago. The human population averaged 5,000 individuals between 8,000 and 4,000 years ago. The human population averaged 10,000 individuals between 4,000 and 2,000 years ago. And the human population averaged 40,000 individuals between 2,000 and 400 years ago. Both men and women made chipstone tools. People started making chipstone tools at an early age. Children mimicked the adults and once old enough were taught. Instruction likely began by the age of eight, if not earlier. And finally, during the course of a lifetime, a person made at least one chipstone tool a week. Now note that this is probably a very conservative figure. Given these assumptions, I calculate that the North Bay was home to 7 million people between 12,000 and 400 years ago. Furthermore, those 7 million people made at least 12,740,000,000 chipstone tools. This does not include debitage, those little broken bits and pieces that result from stone tool manufacture. How many stone tools have been discovered in recent historic times? and how many remain to be discovered. Professional archaeologists have been working in the North Bay for over a century, beginning with Nels Nelson in 1904. In the past 100 years, archaeologists have probably collected as many as 1 million chipstone tools from North Bay archaeological sites. Private collectors have undoubtedly assembled much larger collections. While there is no way to accurately calculate the number of chipstone tools collected by private parties, I will assume that for every chipstone tool collected by an archaeologist, 100 have been collected by non-archaeologists. That means that 100 million chipstone tools have been privately collected. Note that this is probably a rather liberal number. 
If accurate, though, that means that 101 million chipstone tools have been removed from the local archaeological record. That's an enormous number of artifacts. However, even if true, there should still be 12,639,000,000 chipstone tools awaiting discovery in the North Bay. Thus, less than 1% of the stone tools have been discovered. If you figure in depotage and the many other kinds of artifacts, such as ground stone and shell beads and bone tools, then only the very tip of the proverbial iceberg has been encountered in the North Bay, or most anywhere else in the world for that matter. Chipstone tools are found everywhere beneath our feet. They are the foundation on which everything else is built. Our castles, cities, highways, train stations, airports, and launch pads. Construction began when a human ancestor picked up a rock and saw in it the first tool. The construction of our earthly human culture continues today, even as we race toward outer space. As culture races to distance itself from nature and from its own earthly past, one question might arise. What be more human than the sound of two rocks clashing?